I was five years old the first time I heard the drums being played, and I instantly knew that was my instrument. That was my voice. Just like the vibrations from the drum, it just resonated with me, and I was like, we are on the same frequency. That is my voice, that is my instrument. I ended up in the Navy band because I wanted to serve my country. I wanted to go to school and further my education. I wanted to play drums and travel the world. And after I found out that I could do all that in the United States Navy, I was like, where do I sign? Music is the universal language, and I quickly learned that while I was serving in the United States Navy. We could not speak the same language, but put a smile on someone's face by playing the drums. It was just amazing to witness how music could be used as a tool to make people happy and get them dancing. So it was really awesome to be a part of something so much bigger than myself and, and to represent my country, the United States of America, while doing what I loved, playing music. After I left the Navy in 2014, I was a full-time student in college, but I was always playing with the group. And shortly after I graduated, I was selected to go on a world tour with Latin Grammy artist, Boyka. That tour took me to some of the biggest jazz festivals in the world. I began to discover deeper rhythms when I really started digging in on how to count 16th notes, eighth notes, triplets, quarter note triplets, and continue to play a different beat or a, a complex uh, kick drum pattern and still be able to think 16th notes. And it was really, really eye-opening. And I started to be able to hear the notes in between the, the notes, if, if that makes sense. So like if I was counting one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, and doing like a quarter note triplet with my kick and hearing a metronome while all of that is happening, it really just helped me understand and solidify rhythm even more than before. A couple years ago, my husband and I were living in a small, studio apartment in Corpus Christi, Texas. And I didn't have enough room to set up a full drum set, but we had a separate garage and I found a little space. And I was like, you know what? I can get a drum set, but not a traditional drum set in that space. I looked around and I was like, all right, I'm gonna be able to get a cajon in here. And I remember sliding up my kick pedal to the cajon. I grabbed a hi-hat and I grabbed my Roland SPD-30 and my Roland SPDSX that I was using at the time. And I started, you know, creating. That's when my sound really started to evolve. I remember recording a video with that setup and posting it on Instagram and people were like, what is going on? This is super cool. And I've kind of just been continuing to advance that sound and that unique hypnotic groove and vibe that I have going on. This is my studio. All of the ideas, the rhythms, the melodies that I have going on in my head happen right here in my little studio here in Jacksonville, Florida. I use an iMac along with a Arturia 49 Key Lab to help me, you know, create some of the things that I'm thinking of. I use a Tascam audio interface has four inputs so that's how I have my drums talking to each other with my octopad here's one of my drum sets I use all minor cymbals and I usually use a four-piece kit that's a Tama Club Jam mini kick drum over here we have another one of my sets this is a hybrid setup using the SPD 30 by Roland and the Alesis strike pad to you know sample and create loops and yeah, that's pretty much a quick 
tour of my studio. I have art from all over the world. So this is my space. This is where I create and hope you enjoy. The process for me was taking what I learned with subdividing and moving that over to my role in SPD 30. So in my head, I had like a full percussion section going on. I could hear bongos, I could hear djembe, I could hear a cowbell, I could hear all these different parts. And I was like, how do I bring that all together while I'm playing the drum set? And so the Roland SPD 30, I would make a loop and I would like play what I was hearing in my head. I was like, all right, now I can hear what I was thinking of. Now let me play a drum set, you know, groove on top of that. And it was just really cool to develop that. And the process was amazing. That's kind of what I've been doing uh, the past few years is just digging in really deep on groove and my personal sound. I am very excited about my album coming out late November 2020. It's going to inspire, motivate, uplift, and really unite. The album is called I Choose Love, and uh, it's featuring Sarah Reisner on vocals, Portia Rogers on bass, and Demi Hendrix on guitar. And of course, myself, I'll be playing drums, percussion, and I'll be rapping. I know that a lot of stuff is going on and that music is how I communicate and what better way than to produce an album all about, hey, let's work together, let's spread love. What really motivated me or inspired me to make music was seeing how it makes someone feel and the smiles that I would put on people's faces and, and how I could communicate with them without saying a word. And that is why I create music, because I love it. It's my passion. I just want everyone to feel the joy, the gratitude, the love that I have for music, for life. I want to share that.